Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dear Gracious. If it is your first time tuning in, and if you are returning, welcome back, my honeys. Thank you so so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys so so much. Um, and yeah, if you're watching for the first time, please do subscribe if you do enjoy my content. I'm just gonna go straight into the content of this video, into the meat of this video into the reason why you guys started to click into this video i'm gonna jump straight into the unboxing and i think i'm gonna start with my favorite item of today or the one that i'm most excited about um oh just a disclaimer there is a fan in the background i don't know if you guys can hear it i hope not but it's very hot and i'm just gonna sweat everything off my face if i don't keep the fan on so i'm sorry and i have to close the windows otherwise it's too loud outside so the fan is on. I hope it's not a problem. If it is, I do apologize. So anyway, let's get into the unboxing. <laughs> got this uh, a big box from LV the contents are not that big but um, it is a big um, uh, box that they gave me if you guys watched my video from last year I'll link it up somewhere I had a smaller one I bought a small bag and uh, they gave me like a bag half the size of this which is fine but this time I bought two items and um, actually yeah they bigger than one I bought last year well the one item is anyway and that's why I got this bigger uh, orange bag this time um, so if you guys watched my one vlog um, I actually spoke about my wish list and I don't really have much of a wish list but I did mention a few things that I wanted and I was able to get two of those items so let me start with the one that I am most excited about like I said um, so here is the box can you guys guess what it is just looking at the box okay anyway let's get straight into the unboxing I have worn this already just to say I want this to be an unboxing and a bit of a review as well it'll be obviously a first impressions review because I've only worn it once so let's get into it okay I'm just gonna hold it like this uh, because the thing is this side uh, okay, let me do this. It's gonna be difficult. That's why people add like B rolls on the side because it's difficult to kind of like hold it up and unbox at the same time. Anyway, so here we are. I have two dust bags, so you can kind of guess what it is by now. And here are the dust bags. Ta -da. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Let me hold it closer so you can see. So here's the dust bag, and ta-da! Here are the shoes. Um, these are the Bomb Dia flat mules, I think, or flat sandals. I'm not sure. And jeez, I'm just so in love. I'm so in love i've seen these multiple times let me hold them like this so you guys can get a nice close look how stunning how stunning are those and then if you look over there i hope this is in focus and then this side and then like that So I'll show you guys the bag, but like I said, I have worn these already, and we can just speak on the wear and tear as well. Considering that I've only worn them once, I should have taken a picture of them before I actually wore them, but basically the whole bottom was smooth like this, if you guys just want to get an idea of how it looks. So at the bottom here, it just says LV, and it says made in Italy over here, and then this side, it says um, Louis Vuitton Paris and yeah these are the shoes and I'm very very excited these are the sandals 
um, or the mules rather that I have been wanting for the longest time. I thought I would get a bag next, but I think the bag price increases just rocked me so terribly. Like when they went up this year, like I just felt like I just felt like it was too ridiculous, and I just wasn't prepared mentally to spend that much money on the bag that I wanted. Um, so I opted for these sandals instead. I really, 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 really wanted these sandals. I am so happy and oh so the review on them I do find that they are I would say they are comfortable but I didn't walk in them for like more than an hour I think in total I wore them for about two hours but I spent a lot of time driving um, and then so this is the way by the way um, as you can see they do weigh very quickly and I knew this when I first watched it this is from one wear and I I didn't walk for more than 30 minutes and I walked in the mall so obviously this is tiles it's a very smooth surface the only time I walked like on tar was like from the house to the car and I walked like on tar and then I went to the mall parked um, so it's walking in the parking center but I parked very close to like the entrance and then it's obviously the mall is tiled and that is the amount of wear and tear that is already on the shoes at the bottom. It's not bad at all, but just to give you an idea that the shoes do wear quickly at the bottom. All the reviews that I watched, everyone said that the shoes wear very quickly. And yes, I can attest to that as well. Like I said, I probably wore them. I walked in them probably for like less than 30 minutes, even though I wore them for about two hours. Um, but they are very comfortable. I think this is still probably a bit hard as I was walking. This part was hurting my foot a little bit, but that's probably because it's still new shoes. Um, the more I walked, kind of like the more painful it got. But these are LVs, girl. I forgot about the pain, and I'm pretty sure that the more I wear them, hopefully, the softer that this will get and it will not hurt me anymore. So yeah, those are the shoes and then let's get into the second item. So this was also on my wish list and I'm going to un unbox it for you guys over here. Like I said, if it doesn't look great, then I'll, I'll add like a B-roll on the side. Um, but yeah, and I also did wear this already. I wore it once before and I'll just give you my review now. I love it. <laughs> that is my review. Um, so before we go deeper into it, let me do that. So it comes in this long orange um, box. Well, okay, this is the orange box. This part is not orange, obviously. And then it comes wrapped like in this. What paper? What do you call this paper? I don't know. But it kind of reminds me of like baking paper, except yeah, it's kind of like baking paper. It feels it has the same texture rather as baking paper. And then I'm just going to open it again so that we kind of unbox it together. And I bought uh, this beauty right here. This is, oh, I just love it so much. So let me just try and give it, you guys, um, all the prints. Let me start right here. So I hope it's in focus. So I think what drew me to this twilly or bandeau um, I think the bandos are actually the thicker ones I think these thinner ones are called twillies is the design I really really liked that it has a black and white and it has brown as well so let me show you all geez I hope this is in focus so yeah and I really liked the pink as well I am a big pink girl so let me just put it over here so you guys can kind of see so it has the black and white this side it has um, the brown and gold this side and if I flip it over it is the exact same thing oh this side is white and black <laughs> and this side is a black and white basically what I mean is that it's more black and then white this side is more white and then black and um, and then there's this side which is also the brown and pink as well and i was really drawn to this little twilly because of the design and um yeah there's nothing much more to say about this this you can definitely um you can actually wear wrap it around your handbag any handbag or your lv handbag 
it will just you know elevate the look of your handbag or basically just you know zhuzh it up a little bit gives you some bit more versatility in terms of how your handbag looks like i have not worn it on a handbag yet i've only worn it on my head so you can definitely like do that you know tie it wear it as a headband you can wear it as a scarf honey like that you know maybe like wearing a beautiful shirt or a beautiful dress whatever you can basically style it in different ways and i really really want to this i just want like i think going forward what i want to get myself is just a few like pieces more like expensive pieces which will just elevate a normal look so you can wear almost anything and just add this and i feel like it'll elevate your look same with like shades same with belts same with shoes etc and the material i'm not sure what material this is but i'll put it on the screen but it does feel very nice and soft um is it like when i first felt it was i like blown away no i was not i really love the design but in terms of like how it feels yes it is a very very good quality material but it's not you know life changing it's not like super soft super luxurious feeling it just feels really really nice um okay so i'm just looking at this only okay it says dry clean only i actually wa hand washed it and that's what i'll probably do i'll probably either dry clean it or hand wash it and it says made in italy oh it is silk so this is 100 percent silk i don't know if this will focus hopefully that is focused and this side just says Louis Vuitton Paris and yeah that is my little silk twilly so let us move on to um, the Dior item this obviously is a Dior bag it's a very big bag uh, for what I'm about to pull out of it but I walked into Edgar's and I bought a Dior and I bought a few other things as well that's why they gave me this bag and it is the famous Dior Backstage Foundation. So I hope that's clear enough. So this is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. And it is in the shade 4 W. Oh, goodness. I forgot. I forgot. And I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention the price of the shoes and the price of the Twilly. And... Um, I'm mentioning the price because usually when I watch these videos, I always want to know how much is it. And sometimes people don't mention the price. I think people sometimes feel uncomfortable. I'm not uncomfortable sharing the price. After all, this video is a share and tell. It is to give you guys information and to share. So the price, I feel, is quite important as well. So this is the receipt. And it's very different from the receipt that I got last year. Last year, I got like, it looked like an A4 paper. And it wasn't like... I don't know but this like is just like a normal receipt uh it says louis vuitton here at the top and let me just fold it like this make sure there's no personal information so okay that's a bit better uh but basically the bandeau or the twilly was 3.8 3800 rand and then um, the shoes were 16,300 rand. I wish there was 6,300 rand. Um, so yeah, that is the price of the meals and the price of the Twilly as well. Okay, so back to the foundation. Um, as I was saying, I bought the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. And the reason why I bought this foundation is because I've heard so many great things about this foundation. I really really wanted to try it out and I really wanted to spoil myself as well everyone says this foundation is so amazing except for me <laughs> except for me I am wearing this foundation right now I think it probably looks good on camera to be honest to be fair it doesn't look bad in person as well I just feel like firstly it is a light um, coverage so it's light to medium they say it is buildable but it's definitely not full coverage like i think the reviews that i watched the girls were saying that it's buildable it can be full coverage in my experience i've worn this twice now i wore it yesterday i'm wearing it again today and it is not full coverage at all i just feel like i used a lot in order to get this coverage this is like 
this is like a medium coverage i don't know if it looks full coverage on camera but it's not this is a medium coverage um and yeah i just i was disappointed um it is a pricey foundation it is 800 rand exactly this is a 50 milliliter foundation and to be honest i think i got the wrong shade like i said again i know on camera it probably does not show but it's a bit too warm for my complexion and obviously now my face is completely done i've put on concealer i use an amazing concealer which can transform any look that is the Jeeves place concealer that's why i look this good um but the foundation on its own i find it quite like dull it's like flat the bottle is beautiful let me guys let me show you guys the bottle so there we go so the bottle is really really beautiful it's very sleek simple that's just um the tag for the store so it's a very like sleek simple it has like a frost finish this is the shade 4w and i think that's the mistake that i made and i really should know better as a makeup artist that i am not anything w w stands for warm i am either a neutral or golden I always am either neutral or golden okay the foundation on its own though shade aside I think it is average and it really pains me to say because I feel like I don't know because like all the reviews I've seen not all but like most of the reviews I've seen people say that this is like their favorite foundation and I had really really high hopes but for me it's an okay foundation and by the way I think Huda Beauty foundation is like the best it gives the best coverage and maybe that's why I was so underwhelmed when I tried this one on and it's very like flat and dull like it doesn't have a glow man it just it's not matte it's not satin um it's kind of like in between or rather it's not matte it's not dewy I, I wouldn't say I guess maybe the closest thing to describe it is like satin but it's a bit flat for a satin finish if that makes any sense at all so that's my review on um this foundation would i recommend it sadly no um but that's my opinion you can try it for yourself you might love it like the other girls do i do not love it but of course i'm going to continue using it i will definitely use it i will definitely get my money's worth out of it but for now would i repurchase no i would not repurchase this foundation and then the last uh, item are these Burberry shades, honey, that I got. I decided to step into Sunglass Hut and got myself a new pair of shades. I really, really wanted a brown tortoiseshell um, shades. Um, and okay, so we're going to unbox in person, obviously, on camera. So it just comes in this um brown it's like a caramel brown taupe i don't know what color this is um exactly but it's brown let's just say it's brown and then when you open it inside so it has the little wiping thing <laughs> i'm sorry is that called a wiping thing just like that little cloth that you wipe um, your shades with and then it comes in this beautiful um, phone thing guys why am I so terrible with words today but basically it's the soft case yeah let me just say soft case it comes in the soft case that you can put your shades in it also says Burberry over there and then a little book um, with information I guess and then this is really really beautiful i really really love this i just feel like it's so stunning and sleek i really love this packaging a lot and then you open it inside and it has a very nice like um velvet yeah this is velvet it has a very nice velvet finish these are the shades and i just think it's so stunning so these are the shades and i have mostly black shades so i have like four pairs now of designer shades i have uh, two versace's one dolce and gabbana and now the burberry's 
um i have two black and then i have another pair that's brown but it's a dark brown it looks black from afar and these i find are more of a light brown and i really really like them i just feel like they're so stunning so that is the burberry logo right there and you guys can see it is that turtle shell tortoise <laughs> that turtle shell right over there and this side too so i'm just gonna put them on Woo! i'm sorry <laughs> i just shocked myself like so yeah i walked into sunglass hut and i tried these on and yeah i was speechless I stunned myself and I just had to get them I just had to get them I just feel like they're so beautiful so sleek so elegant they so me like this is my complete vibe this is exactly exactly what I would wear this is exactly what I wear my favorite pair are my Versace's I um, wear them like all the time but they black like I said and they're a lot darker over here so sometimes you want something lighter you know just something a bit more daytimey it still looks expensive and still looks you know just beautiful and relaxed but still beautiful still you know elevated in jay so that's why i got these i really really like these a lot what do you guys think do you think they suit me but i already know that they suit me sorry to say i do but anyway <laughs> what do you guys think do you think they suit me i really really love these um these were uh, okay i forgot the price of these but i will put it down there were three thousand something somewhere there three thousand somewhere there um like i said i will put the price down but i'm absolutely in love with these and then i actually thought that was the last item but i actually have one more item and it is this this is just completely a bougie item there's absolutely no reason why you should spend this much money on a mirror this is a chanel mirror but i've just been wanting it for so long and yeah <laughs> there's nothing more i can say really so it comes in this beautiful velvet um this is the box i don't know if i unbox that too quickly but this is the box that it comes in. It is a double mirror. So it comes in this beautiful velvet, like I said. And then you unbox it. And let me just wipe that for y'all. My fingers have been all up in that. Okay, so it is this beautiful black and white Chanel logo just your simple classic Chanel logo and then open it up and that's my film set up right there <laughs> that's the camera and yeah so it's just a simple Chanel mirror also forgot the price but I'll add it on the screen somewhere I know it was 700 and a bit i think it was 760 i'm not sure if it's not the right price i'll put it on the screen like i said and yeah it's just a chanel mirror that is literally it um if you look this side it is a normal view if you look down at the bottom here it is super magnified um it's actually a really wow okay it's actually a really really good mirror i actually haven't spent time i was just so happy to find i've been looking and looking and looking for this mirror and everywhere i went to every edgars i went to every woolies i went to they were out of stock i eventually found it um at edgar Santa city but when i asked a few weeks ago they're out of stock as well so i feel i got lucky so as soon as she said yes we have stock i just bought it and i looked in the mirror i'm like oh it's a mirror and i closed it but it's actually a very very good mirror it's very very clear it, it's actually a very very good mirror um i don't know if it's worth the amounts but it is chanel after all and to me it was worth it obviously because i did spend the money on it and again just a little bougie item there's absolutely no need to spend that much money on a mirror but it was my birthday month i wanted to spend myself i work 
so hard. I deserve it, you know. I deserve it. I spent so many hours on my beads, girl. I deserve it. Um, so yeah, those are the things that I got for myself. Um, and I actually got everything this month, actually. So I guess you could say those are all my birthday gifts from myself to myself. I did get other things from my family and loved ones as well but those are the things that i got for myself and i just wanted to like spoil myself a little bit and um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm clearly very very excited um and yeah it's just something that i enjoy watching these kind of videos um and that's why i recorded this video like this year i just want to focus on making content that i enjoy and hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well i love watching unboxings especially luxury designer unboxings and that is why i wanted to bring this to you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you made it this far please do subscribe i'd really really appreciate it and thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers thank you guys so much for all of the love on my last video you guys hearts to each and every one of you your messages were so so sweet like you guys just made my heart melt i enjoyed reaching uh i enjoyed reading each and every single comment so so much it is such a special day for my fiance and i and yeah i'm just looking forward to the rest of the year and planning the next thing and yeah anyway that is not part of this video i'm just excited obviously thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye